A dramatic uh, last quarter of the game. It, it was nil-nil to the 65th minute. That's why we love the game. 3-2, and then Joe, in the last seconds, ah. it could have been 3-3 extraordinarily. Extraordinary. He would have written himself in well-cut fold. That's the cheekiest of things to do. The goalkeeper, Diogo Costa, just he just doesn't see him. And to slip at a vital moment, I would just be interested in what his teammates are going to be saying to him when he gets in the dressing room. Yeah. Is, Diogo is, Costa, like, I thought goalkeepers always looked over their shoulder. It, oh, he's lucky, boy. Very lucky. We've seen the best and the worst of Portugal tonight. Yeah. Look at Ronaldo's <laughs> face. My goodness. I honestly just had a call that Newcastle are in from. Not sure. <laughs> it's just unbelievable for such experienced players to be holding on at the end. Again, the good and the bad. They weren't very professional, Portugal, tonight. I, no. thought, they were, I thought I expected a lot more from them. I expect a lot more going forward, and I expect them to be a lot more solid in defence. I thought they were they were ordinary tonight. Yeah, but they've they've got away with it. Let's have a look at the penalty decision, which gave Ronaldo a chance to make history. I think it probably depends if you love Ronaldo or you love Portugal, whether you think this is a penalty or not. It, it, sorry, Joe, I just think it's a penalty because the player, when a defender is so clumsy, but we're watching it live and we're thinking, stay on your feet, don't give the re referee a chance. He just. It does there's, contact, the there's, contact, there's no need for him to go in there. Ronaldo's going away from the goal. There's it's no need. Just come over and usher him away from the goal, the way the ball Brilliant. is going. Is Never. there enough contact really for a penalty? Yes. Uh, yes. yes. But, uh, yeah. It was self-inflicted. I think the momentum he's running at, yeah, any kind of clip can, can and take your And Ronaldo's and a bag of monkeys, oh, yeah. isn't he? He knows, that he, he knows he's coming and he knows there's going to be contact and I'll make the most of it. We saw Bale doing it the other night. You just wait for the defender and you pray that he... Gives you that chance. When Ronaldo scored his first goal in the World Cup against Iran in 2006, three days later, Joe scored against Sweden in Cologne. That is amazing, isn't it? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah very nice. Very yeah, nice. yeah, you've got to, yeah, you're, you're yeah, attached to history yeah. somewhere along the line. Somewhere along the lines, a small part. A yeah, small part. When Ghana went behind, we wondered what they would have in an attacking, uh, attacking sense, Joe. And they showed us they did have it's something, which I think is a bit of a frustration for some of it them. Must be hell of, it must be frustrating for the, for, for the Ghanaian supporters because they turned up. They, they got forward, they made runs in behind. You know, they, then they carved open, which was you know, a vulnerable Portugal back four at times. You know, they've got, they've got Andrea will never score an easy goal in his career. Credit to him, he's in the right position and he popped it away. You know, it means so much for the captain. He's been there for many, many years. And, and you just must frustrated. They just played within themselves for such long periods in this game. And they probably had to at times. But maybe should have a little bit more attacking intent, a little bit more runners in behind. And they nearly, they nearly pulled off an amazing yeah. result. We wondered what that would do to the game. But actually it was Portugal who found yeah, another win. Found another gear, a gear. A delightful pass from Bruno Fernandes. And um, Jules Mann scores a fine mm -hmm. goal. But with a great... <laughs> Well, a lot of help from the goalie. Why has he come that far? Yeah. Come to the, the six-yard line and stop. The defender's getting across there, which has made it very easy for João Felix to score. He looks tiny, just, doesn't he? He, sits, he Zig, looks so Ziggy small. Ziggy just sits down and, and says, there you go, just, just think me. Because if he stays on the edge of his six-yard box, the guy's going to have to shoot, Felix, shoot really hard and well but, to but beat he's him. Raced from out, yeah. he's, he's raced out. He's made his mind up. Yeah. And, and gone to ground. We talked about very, layout. Yeah, brilliant. Very, very simple. Talking about runners. Can. They got a bit giddy, obviously we're chasing the game, 2-1 down, and this lovely way to pass for Hernandez, who wasn't actually great, two assists, lovely finish, lovely technique, and beautiful goal. Yeah, we was calling for him at half-time, that's exactly what they needed, didn't they? They needed penetration, they needed a dribbler, as soon as that, they looked a different proposition as well, they lit the whole game up, having players who can go by players, it, it Me, changes the game. Portugal were not convincing tonight, they've got away with one, you know, they, they, they weren't terribly attractive going forward, they weren't making lots of chances, um, they'll have to be better than just, that. Just strangely, as bad as they were, they've scored three goals. Yeah. Yeah. Not bad. Now, we want to have a look at what happened right at the end again, where Inaki Williams so nearly got the equaliser. We're sort of racking our brain. Dion Dublin did this. You played in the game with... There's a few, yeah. Well, Robbie, Ke Dion, Robbie Keane did it, did he? Robbie done it as well. Yeah. So that's, Stryker's been obviously yeah. very, very clever. But the goalkeepers, as we know, you have to be aware of it. You, you see most goalkeepers at this stage, you know, just look over their shoulders. They have a habit either side, and only for this slip. But he doesn't slip his scores, doesn't he? Oh, you never forgive him. He's yeah. 23. He'll never do that again. <laughs> yeah. He'll be looking over, both, <laughs> looking over both shoulders from now on. <laughs> that Brilliant. face says a thousand it words, does, doesn't it? It, it, it really does. It, Graham's right. He will never make that mistake again. He's got away with one tonight. Portugal have got three points. Ghana, though, when they go into their next game, they must think, actually, if we can be a little bit more progressive from the start, maybe we could get greater well, joy. Well, 
you know, that he's got to pick the bones out of that performance. And, and the positives were, if you think if you let these boys off the leash a little bit, there's enough in the team they could they could hurt Uruguay. We didn't see nothing from Uruguay or South Korea, which will frighten them see, to death. This is no different than any other World Cup. Every team approaches the first game nervous about losing the first game. Yeah. Ghana have got to find another way of playing in the second game and the third game. Yeah. And as you say, from Portugal's point of view, not good, but three goals. Some ways you'd settle for that because there's a lot more progress to come. Lots of pluses. The attack and play, two attacking uh, players scoring. Ronaldo scoring after a difficult few months. Three goals, three points. On you go. What have you made of the chances that he has had, Ronaldo? Would oh, you expect him to have done a little yeah, bit better? Yeah, he'd be disappointed. Of course he will be with the quality he's got. Obviously with the big build-up. He knows how to score goals and the chances he had. Um, first one, I think, was a great chance. Again, it, the winner back high up the pitch as you'd expect in there and this is maybe just it is maybe slightly behind him but I still think obviously with his quality a better first touch credit to the goalkeeper he's obviously come out and done well but it, with his quality he'd be disappointed and of course he's had a great chance here with the header how many times over the years he's timing and he's above the defender and just kind of missed the flight right at the end of it yeah he can so still leave can't he yeah, yeah, well, he's yeah. got that obviously it's just and this, I, I, listen, I, I think he's unlucky. I think the defender's done well to go down to win the free kick. He finishes it well, but the defender's done well to, to win that foul. But a bit unlucky. I, th I know with the header, you, you expected him to score yeah, that, didn't you? Yeah, normally it does. The only thing I can think's happened is he's let the number four, the defender, his knees on him, and maybe he's just knocked himself off balance because that is a, this is a food and drink chance for him. It really is. Look. And that, with the collision, does it make his head? Does it put it in the wrong place? Because it's sat up beautifully, he's got a chance to run at it. You're thinking, this has got goal written all over it. We've seen that a hundred times. From still him. got that leap, hasn't he? Oh, how athletic is that? Yeah. yeah. Still got that. Uh, we're talking about the leap of Ronaldo. Talk, must talk about the discipline of Ghana. They yeah, really are yeah, in their shape and sticking to it, aren't Otto they? Otto would be delighted. They haven't, they haven't been anything of an attacking force. What they have done is they've been diligent, they've been disciplined. And what they've done is they've... they've condensed the park in the middle in the middle so Bernardo Silva can't get on the ball Bruno Fernandes can't get the ball but and there's not enough runners from Portugal and Portugal have helped them out but they, they've been disciplined and they've, they've kept them at bay I imagine the Portuguese will probably be thinking second half Nuno Mendes to give him some penetration down the left Rafael Leal but if Ghana will be absolutely delighted with their first 45 minutes work because they're coming they're, they're keeping them at bay it's been easy for them. They need a bit more with Portugal. What they also need is someone who can dribble and skip past someone. Then the next defender has to come out, and then what happens beyond that is open. They, they, they need someone who can commit someone. At this time, they're just playing in front of Ghana. The, the reason they're sitting in is because they're fearful and they're respective of the opposition. And Portugal definitely have better players, but they've got to do more with it. They've got to pass it quicker. We've mentioned it here. They've got, they've got to have runners. For Ghana, it's been easy. I think we could have played out there. But you've got to get at them. Quick play. Portugal have been too slow. They have the quality, but it's not going to have the quality unless you're going to show it. Can't see the manager saying, lads, quicker to passes, one-twos. Nobody running off the ball. They've got too many players all wanting to come and play and be nice with it. You need someone running in just to mix the game up a little and bit. And then you just start to move the pieces around, don't you? And then there's a knock-on effect. If you're, playing against, if you're playing against Portugal tonight, you're delighted because you're seeing there are 11 players there all the time. There's no real dart in behind. There's no, they have to play a bit more risky football, basically, Portugal. You know, they have to, someone has to skip past someone. I expect them to be different in the second half. Leia, we talked about before yeah. the game. Maybe Felix, who's a little, been a little bit yeah, swallowed up, hasn't he, in the he's, defence? He's been inactive. Um, I'll give him a big build-up. But, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Rafa Leao is the one for me. I watched him play for AC Milan in the Champions League, and he, he, he can drive past the grams right. You need someone you can, who can commit someone. And then all of a sudden, the shape changes. Ghana are not comfortable. They haven't got the five. Spaces open up. Bruno Fernandes, they can find Ronaldo. And people say when your teams are that low block, it's, it's, it's tough to break down. It's not. It's not. If you do things properly and show your quality, mm -hmm. they're not showing their quality even with the end product, but they've just got to... Do it, it properly and quickly. Is that quickly. the key? Of course, that's the name of the game. Slow, slow, and quick, quick in around the box. And when they've done it once or twice, they've looked a lot more dangerous.